Okay, just a little review reminders for uh, today's project and future projects. But the first thing is for this problem, or for this project, you had to type in a bunch of numbers and it was the music sales for Dynamite Music. Once you've typed in the numbers, it's real easy to change it. You don't have to type in commas. You don't have to type in dollar signs. I'm going to choose all my numbers and I'm going to select all of the numbers that I'm, or all the cells that I'm going to put numbers in. And you can see that I chose B5 through F9. I'm going to go up to this option, the ABC123, and I'm going to choose, it told you to put it in currency. By doing that now, you can see that it has added commas and it's added dollar signs to your numbers. You can also, remember if you don't want the currency on there, I could have just added commas and it would have put a commas in the correct spot. I'm going to put my currency back in there. Okay, next is when we create the formula that's going to add these numbers up. Remember, I'm going to use my sum function. I'm going to drag across here. I'm going to hit enter and sometimes you get the pound signs. All that means, remember, is that your column is not wide enough to show your numbers. So I can do one of two things. I can go up to column F and I can drag this across or something new. If I go up to those little lines there and just double tap on it, it will make my column as wide as the widest thing in that column. Let's try that in column A. You can see that I can't see all of my words. I'm going to go up to the two little adjustment lines, double tap on it, and it'll make it as wide as web downloads. Okay, one last thing is, or we'll review the fill down yet too. If I'm gonna use the same formula here, remember all I do is I tap on the formula, I hit fill, I grab the, the green box and drag down. And that will fill it up with the correct formula. Remember with column B, row nine, I can have the sum function. I'm gonna add up these numbers here. I'm gonna have it accept it. And you can see that my column is too narrow for it. So again, I can go up here. I can double click on the double lines. Okay, now I'm ready to fill across. I'm gonna hit the, the cell hit the word fill, drag across to there. And again, I can see that <clears throat> my column width is not the same. So I can do it one of two ways. I can go through, adjust columns B through C by selecting all, B through E, I should say. I can select all the columns, drag on the double headed or double line in column E and adjust the column width. Remember, we do have symbols. I'm just gonna review these to you. If you are typing out a problem, remember the plus sign is addition. Minus sign, subtraction. The asterisk, that, which is above number eight, that is multiplication. And the diagonal line that is on the same key as the question mark is divide. Just remember that when you start working with problems that do not use the function sum or average or minimum or maximum.